You're watching News 8 on WROC. Joining us now is CPA David Young with the New York State Society of CPAs. David, so nice to have you here with us again. Oh, it's great to be here today. We're talking about cryptocurrency and uh, taxes. Super important as crypto becomes more and more popular. Explain to us what uh, our viewers should know. Okay, well, the IRS has taken a very keen interest in cryptocurrency, so keen that on the, on the front page of your uh, tax return, they're asking, you know, at any time during 2021, did you receive, sell, exchange, or otherwise dispose of any financial interest in virtual currency, yes or no? They ask that question because they want to know. And what that means is if you have cryptocurrency and you are using it to buy things, sell things, whatever, or buy, sell, receive money, receive crypto, it has to be reported. You sell crypto, it has to be reported. The IRS is looking, and how it gets reported is a capital gain. So if, it's, if you held on to the crypto for more than a year, it's a long-term capital gain. And if it's less than a year, it's a short-term capital gain, which has to be reported on your tax return, on your Schedule D. Sure, and I want to make sure our viewers uh, understand this. If someone just buys crypto, do they have to report it on their taxes? No, so if you buy crypto, you do not. But when you need to report crypto on your taxes is if you were to, say you bought crypto a couple of years ago, now you sold that crypto to buy something, you know, some, you know, maybe you sold it just to exchange it. Or if you go from one set of crypto to another set of crypto, one from A to B, that's a sale. And it does have to be reported on, the, on your uh, schedule D on your tax return so that's very important and you know oftentimes I get the questions well what if I did not report crypto on my uh, tax mm -hmm. return well that's a big problem because now the uh, IRS is getting a record a lot of times the, the places that hold your crypto report to the IRS and they, they should be sending you a 1099 and so the IRS knows you have this crypto and even if the IRS didn't know it doesn't you know it's still the right thing to do so if you didn't report it in the past, you need to go back and amend because if you did not, you, you're setting yourself up for a, a, an IRS audit, which means you could have penalties and interest and additional taxes, and it can get quite painful. All right, I have one more question for you. How do you track gains and or losses on crypto-related activities? That's a great question. It's actually made it easier recently. So a lot of the companies will give you, the customer, will allow you to go to their, their portal, their website, and then you can download everything in like a CSV format and essentially put it in Excel. And so, and that way you can you can parse out all your gains and losses. Now, ultimately, they're going to give you a 1099. But if you go to their website, many of the larger um, exchanges will help you as their customer parse out all your gains and losses. And you can use that spreadsheet or you know data to prepare your a correct income tax return. All right, David, thank you so much uh, for your expertise and advice there. We'll have more information on cryptocurrency and taxes and how you can contact a CPA over at rochesterfirst.com. David, thank you again. Allie, thank you. Some good information.